Um, on line 15, I have Tina, who has taken a job that would not be her first choice. <laughs> Tina. Hi, Dr. Viscott. How are you? Good. Was that said very nicely? Oh, absolutely. How old um, are you? I'm 30. And what's the job? Well, actually, it correlates to Dottie's encounter this evening. Um, it's the fantasy sex line. And uh, at first, I was calling concerned about a girl who you received a phone call from last week who was intending to meet one of oh, her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I tried like hell to get through to you to say, do not do it. But I tried to convey well, that. Well, thank you. <laughs> I know. And um, it got me thinking and thinking. And um, uh, Dottie, uh, forgive me for diverting to her, but I, I empathize with your situation. And that is the reason I'm calling. I'm wondering if these sex lines are perpetuating... Um, encounters um uh, um where do you draw the line you know i get calls um as diverse as yours um some very romantic fantasies and some quite um psychopathic ones well you know i feel like you dr scott i swear to you and i'm i did uh i am major in psych but i'll tell you something and this is for all the women out there because there's a power um there is a power we have um, in dealing with these men in the sense um, that I like to call it phone foreplay. I, I use your line. What's really going on in your life? Because these men are not out to have an orgasm. These are men with low self-esteem. Who are lonely. Lonely, businessmen, rich. Yes, horny, who isn't? Um, but uh, the more taboo the fantasy, the further removing from love they are becoming. And uh, wait, 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 you're way off. The question that you raise is, are you, yeah. is, is there a chance you may be doing a bad thing? Yeah, um, I well, like it. the way, it, yeah. slow it down, turn it down. I'm New Yorker. I know, I can hear it. <laughs> are you doing a bad thing? N Don't come at me with an immediate answer. Are you doing a bad thing? You're stuck. Yeah. That's the problem. If you're stuck, there's enough doubt to lower your own self-esteem. Oh. And that... You hit it. There you go. Yeah, I know. Stop. No. Shh. Everything's okay. But you're in the wrong business. Of course. Do, do, do you don't think be so it is a good business? It's a good business. It's a bad life. Oh, it's not my um, chosen... Then life. don't do it. How you pay the bills, Dr. Disco? By believing in yourself and not doing something that lowers your self-esteem so when opportunity does knock, you don't feel deserving enough to take advantage of it. M may I add one thing? Go. Um, um, this might be denial. Um, <laughs> what a look. <laughs> um, but I do not... Um, Go ahead. I do not... Um, how do I explain this to you? Don't explain denial. Just admit it and let me... S let me oh, get on to the next call? Yeah. No, 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 I do no, have I didn't, help I didn't say that. Oh, that I That was did. your low self-esteem right at that instant. Oh. I would never cut you off without finishing. But you didn't feel deserving. And here was an opportunity to get some more from me, which your self-esteem stepped in the way of, just the same way it's stepping in the way of you getting better in life and kept you from, from having something. Oh, doctor, I have a lot. Um, I you just are not hearing, mm -hmm. and you're getting glib on the phone talking to me as if I were one of your callers. You called no. me, kiddo. No. Slow it down, and don't say you're a New Yorker, and it is denial. Let me help you. This is wrong for you, period. I guess my question was, was there any way to help these people who, who I do speak Get your to? degree in psychology, kiddo. Uh, cut and dry. Cut and dry. Either that or start treating them on the phone. Th that's where I was heading. I Get thought. away from the sex and say, you know, and I start talking about loneliness that's and what hurt. I do. That's why I've and don't and, and don't talk about sex. I don't. Oh, Doctor Viscott, we'll end on this note. That was the whole purpose of this call. Is that 99% of my calls never reach orgasm. We do talk about... I don't know whether that's good or bad. <laughs> you may be sending all these people frustrated out no. into the world and no. doing incomplete psychotherapy. I don't think this is good for you. Mm. 
period. I think your sojourn there should terminate. But, yes. Okay? All right. I just hope maybe along the line I helped one or two. That's what you're unpacking your heart with, to quote Shakespeare. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. See him with soliloquy. Must I, like a whore, unpack my heart with words? Oh, that's just too, too solid flesh with them. No, no, that's, that's another act. <laughs> Stay with it. And you, you're laughing about it. Oh, not at it. Uh, about it is what I'm saying. Don't laugh. Do something that allows your self-respect to blossom. It's very easy to make a buck if you do things that will destroy you, but then what do you do with the buck that you made? I don't know. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.